I'm Tom Lemons, and this is a special report. The First Amendment protects our right to free speech and freedom of press. Yesterday, Hernando County Circuit Judge Curtis Neal may have violated that right by ordering the removal of Real News Real Fast from a publicly held hearing, preventing our coverage of an extremely controversial divorce case. We interviewed Mike Sikon in a recent episode of our show, where he explained that Judge Neal had ordered him out of his house and severely restricted contact with his children simply because he opposed a psychiatrist recommended treatment for his autistic son. Making this case more baffling is the fact that Mrs. Sikon was arrested for battering Mr. Sikon during a domestic dispute, which was caught on video surveillance cameras. The following clip shows our encounter with attorney Sam Lee. Mr. Shea, can you ask, Mr. Lee, can you tell us why you asked the media to be uh, excused from the hearing? Can you tell us why you do all the secrecy in this hearing, Mr. Lee? You talked to me several times last week on the, before the story was printed. Why didn't you want to talk me down? And you didn't put anything in there about him being $19,000 behind it. That is not part of the story. The story is why he was thrown out of his house after his wife's been arrested for domestic violence. <laughs> What, who is Errol Heath? One way story. I would like to hear all the story. I tried to get it from Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, only, I talked to him for about four, four hours over the last few weeks, and he, hasn't, he, he told me everything, but nothing that turned the story around. Okay. So why all the secrecy? Why were we thrown out of the courtroom today? Why is Real News Real Fast not allowed in the courtroom? Question I've never been thrown out of here. <laughs> We asked Mr. Sikon why he thought Judge Neal prevented media coverage of the hearing. What are your thoughts on why, why they uh, threw the media out of the hearing this morning? Or why they specifically asked Real News Real Fast not to be in the, in the hearing? Yeah, and it makes no sense to me or Gina. Gina, my attorney, had no problems with it. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, Cariel's attorney, Sam Lee, did. If you want my personal opinion, what they claimed on the stand was completely false. So maybe okay. they want no documentation on that. What are they trying to do to you? The case is set to reconvene this afternoon. Reporting on scene in Brooksville, I'm Tom Lemons, Real News, Real Fast.